Hi everyone, welcome to the Frequency Domain. Today we are going to design another 5th old HBC flow pass filter, but this time using open circuit at the stops. Ok, let's get started. We are going to review the filter properties, then introduce the lumped element circuit model. On the next step we will see how we can use open circuit at the stops to design a low pass filter, and finally we use the ADS software to develop the layout. So like before, we are going to design a low-pass filter with 3 dB bandwidth of 10 GHz, pass bandwidth of 0.1 dB, and 30 dB loss at 20 GHz. To set the order of the filter, we will use this equation from Mr. Hang and Mr. Lancaster book, and it comes up with the number of 4.58, which we will round it up to 5. We have two types of lump element circuit model for a low-pass filter, and they both work fine. And this time we are going to use the first one. The values for inductors and capacitors are something that you can find in a microwave box. And there are a few tables in any microwave box. So you should at least know the type of the filter you are designing, the passband repel, and your system impedance. That's because to not use another table by mistake. So this is our low pass filter circuit and we want to use micro strip stops instead of lumped elements. In order to do that there is something as recharge transformation which turns an inductor to a series short circuit stop with the length of lambda over 8 and a capacitor to a shunt open circuit stop again with the length of lambda over 8. If we apply recharge transformation to our filter, we will have a new circuit which is based on micro strip stops. But the problem is that we can't use series stops in micro strip technology. So we have to find a way to solve this problem. The solution is to use Croda identities. There are four Croda identities which help us to turn capacitors, inductors, and transformers into each other. To turn an inductor to a capacitor, we need a unit element, which is aligned with any impedance but with the length of lambda over 8. Looking at our circuit again, we see that there is no unit element here, so we do a trick which may seem odd now, but we are going to turn the first and last capacitors into inductors. In order to do that, we still need the unit element, and here we can simply add 250 ohm lines with the length of lambda over 8 at both ends of the filter, which we know that they don't have an effect on the performance of the filter. Here, how is it look like when we turn the capacitors into inductors? And we can simply see that now we have the unit elements that we have needed before. Again, we can add 250 ohm lines for the two new inductors. So this is how our filter looks like after we have swapped every inductor of the circuit for capacitor. Our final step is to develop the layout. And to do that, we need to pick a substrate first. And usually we use RO4003C. Please consider that picking a substrate is a challenging and important step in designing a microwave circuit. So don't rush into it. Here we use line calculator of ADS software to transform impedance and electrical lengths of every section of the filter into physical widths and lengths. And remember to always do this transformation at cutoff frequency. So this is the layout of our 5th order chip shift low pass filter using open circuit at stops. Thank you all for watching this video. As always we hope that you find the video useful and we are so appreciated if you share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. If you like the video, please hit the like button and you're welcome to subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you next time.